In early 1811, he won the Ecole's annual Tete Expression, or Expressive Head Competition, with an extraordinary bust representing pain. La Douleur is a thrillingly tense conjunction of timeless classicism and the material immediacy of the real. The work demonstrates David's deep familiarity with classical precedents, such as the Laocoon, while retaining a strong sense of the posed, fashionably side-whiskered model from which he worked. Rather than relying on superficial and schematic facial movement for its effect, La Douleur evokes a unified bodily organism, one that seems to extend beyond the limits imposed by the bust format. Head, neck, and shoulders act in concert, each contributing meaningfully to the representation of pain. David's anatomical precision reflects his investigation of dissected corpses with the young Parisian medical professor, Pierre-Augustin Becklard. Around this time, and probably in consultation with Becklard, the sculptor executed a series of large and highly finished anatomical drawings. One sheet, which you see here, vividly pictures what could almost be the meaty, subcutaneous machinery of La Douleur, a straining web of veins and muscles that, in the plaster, seems veiled only by the finest of membranes. Here, David provides an innovative interpretation of Toussaint Bernard Emeric David's publication, Research on the Art of Sculpture. Each time you study a dissected part of the human body, writes Emeric David, model or draw the corresponding part of a live model. During this work, keep the antique constantly before you so it might serve to mediate between dissected and living nature. Unlike other contemporary attempts to harmonize antiquity and modern physiology, for example, Jean Galbert Salvage's overly literal illustrations of the Apollo Belvedere, La Douleur is a hybrid figure that exploits the ambiguous space between classical idealism and the fleshy, pulsing reality of the living body. <laughs> 